do like a good Venn diagram. Um, and this question is, it's doing this normal sort of thing. You find some missing values in it, and then you've got some probabilities happening. Um, but the probability bit is a bit, it's the sneaky probability within Venn diagrams. We'll get to that. Right, so the total number of students is 121. That is basically means that this plus this plus this plus this equals 121. Um, it's a one marker. I don't think I could write an equation that like along the lines of what I've just said. But I think it's absolutely fine to just add these up, solve it as we go. 41 plus 18 plus 35 equals 94. So x is going to be 121 minus 94. Um, and you can do that on the calculator. I can see that it's going to be 6 to 100 plus 21 is going to be 27. One of the 121 students is selected at random. Find the probability that this student studies mathematics given that they study physics. This is the bit that can be confusing. Given that they study physics, that means they definitely study physics and we can ignore these people who do not study physics and these people who do not study physics either because we're saying I'm picking somebody out of the students who study physics. Now we know that x is 27. So find the probability that this student studies mathematics. Well, there are 27 people who study mathematics. And how many of there are there in total? It's going to be 27 plus 18. It's going to be 45. I really like conditional probability, I've got to be honest. But it is like it can be hard to get your head around it a little bit. But I hope you're happy with that. Just be really careful when you see the given that. Um, and it's whenever you see that, it's saying conditional probability, right? Don't rush into this. Take your time. And this is the answer.